Hi and welcome to this video. I'm Lucas, Studio One Specialist. Today we're going to talk about transposing and nudging notes in Studio One. The easiest ways to move a note are by using the mouse, via drag and drop, or by using keyboard shortcuts. Let's first take a look at moving notes vertically. That means transposing the note, changing the pitch. As I said, one way to do this is via drag and drop using the mouse. You can hear that Studio One will always play the new pitch while you're dragging. This is helpful for finding the right pitch, but sometimes you may not want this, so in this case you can easily turn it off with this Audition Notes option here in the inspector. Now the note won't be played while you transpose it. Personally, I prefer to use the keyboard to transpose notes. One of the reasons is that when you use the mouse, you always have to be careful that you don't change the timing of the note at the same time. If you don't have snapping enabled, which is this option here in the toolbar, then it's almost impossible to transpose the note without changing the original timing. There is, however, a trick, and that's the Shift key. If you press the Shift key on the keyboard, this will temporarily enable snapping, so your melody will snap to the grid or whatever settings are enabled in the snap menu. And it also snaps to the original time. So if your melody is recorded freely and it's not on the grid like here, it will also snap to the original time position. So that can help when you're transposing notes with the mouse. But I still prefer to use the keyboard because it just gives me more control. Once you have selected one or more notes, you can simply use the arrow keys to transpose the selected notes up or down. So if I know I want to transpose my melody up three semitones, I simply press the upper arrow key three times. If you want to transpose notes by an octave, you can hold down the shift key and then press the arrow keys to move the whole selection in octaves. I use this shortcut all the time when I do piano arrangements and just want to move a passage or single chord notes up or down an octave. Before we get to changing the time position of notes, let me show you one of my secret tricks for editing notes. This is when I want to double a melody or a bass line an octave above or a fifth or any other interval. If I wanted to do that manually, I would probably switch to the Paint tool and just draw in the same notes again in the higher octave. But of course, as you can see, the timing is a bit off and there are a lot of easier ways to do this anyway. So here is what I usually do. I select my melody and press Ctrl plus C, that's Command plus C on the Mac, to copy the notes. Then I press Ctrl plus Shift plus V that's Command plus Shift plus V on the Mac, to paste the notes at the original location. We don't see any difference yet because the new notes are exactly on top of the other notes. But now that only the new notes are selected, you can use the arrow keys to transpose the copied notes. This is a great trick for quickly doubling a phrase, for example, to create a second voice. And as we have just seen, if you want it to be an octave higher, all you have to do is press Shift plus arrow up and we instantly have our melody doubled in the higher octave. Now let's take a look at nudging notes as it's called in Studio One. Of course, you can just drag the note to change its start position. And again, if you want it to be on the grid, you can enable the snap option. Just make sure that snap to grid is checked here in the menu. And now everything snaps accordingly. And as you might expect, we can do the same thing with the keyboard by pressing Alt plus left or right arrow. And if you have snapping enabled, this will move the notes by a 16th because that's our current quantize value. You can also set it to a quarter note and then Alt plus left or right will move the notes in quarter note values. 
And here's one more trick. If you press Ctrl plus Alt plus left or right, on Mac that's Ctrl plus Option plus left or right, then the node selection will be shifted by a whole bar. And that's extremely useful if you want a certain melody or part of a melody in a different bar. So if you happen to need to move notes by whole bars, that's the keyboard shortcut for it. Sometimes you don't want to move notes by a quarter note or a sixteenth note, but in smaller increments. To do this, you can just turn off the snap option. And now you can move the notes by pressing Alt plus left or right. That's it for today. That's been how to move notes in Studio One. If you're interested in more advanced features to move notes by specific units like beats or seconds or frames, then take a look at my Navigation Essentials add-on for Studio One. Some people don't know that I developed some of the MIDI features in Studio One back in version 4, which allows me to create custom feature extensions for Studio One. Navigation Essentials is my free extension that includes a number of different features and there are also a couple of commands for note nudging. So if that's something you are interested in, take a look at my Navigation Essentials video. And if you enjoyed this video and want more tips and tricks for Studio One, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon to never miss a Studio One video in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.